Okay, I'm going to discuss Windows 8.1 and a potential issue that uh, you may have run across or will run across if you have HASP drivers installed. Uh, at some point, Windows 8 may prompt you and tell you that you need to uninstall the Sentinel runtime drivers. <coughs> that can be a nightmare if you... Uh, uh, haven't gotten there yet and hopefully I will be able to save you some time. Uh, if you get to that point in Windows 8.1 on the install you can pause the install and go back to your uh, computer and what I would suggest that you do is open up internet browser and go to this website and I'm going to hold it there in blue for just a minute. The address is sentinelcustomer.safenet-inc.com forward slash sentinel downloads. If you get to that point, you should see a program called Sentinel Hasp dash or forward slash LDK dash command line runtime installer. You're going to want to download this to your computer. Now if you click on it you can do a couple of things. If you right click you can save as and put it into a directory of your choice what I did was I dropped it into my uh, download directory so it would be easily found for me and uh, that's where I, I put it. I don't know if you can actually save as. I think you have to click on it. No, that's right. You click on it then you accept then it should start the download process. I have already downloaded this and so I'm going to stop it and uh, I'm going to pause this one because you'll be able to see over here show all downloads and when you do that <coughs> you can see different things you've downloaded. One in particular is the one that I talked about is the uh, Sentinel download. It's going to look like this when it comes down into your download directory or whatever directory you put it in. In my case I put them in my download directory that's kind of my default directory. So once you get there you can click on it here or you can show in your folder where the document is. And here it is. It's in my download directory and it's called Sentinel blah blah blah. And it's a zip file. So <clears throat> if you double click on it, it will give you a, another folder and at that point you want to extract all. So you click on there. Now here's where it can be complicated if you're not paying attention. It will default into your user, your name, downloads, and then it will put it into here. What I did was I browsed and I browsed over to my computer because that is where I wanted to have it drop into my C drive. And that's where I put it and it should be here under local disk. <coughs> I clicked OK, dropped it in there, and it opened it up into a folder off of my C drive, which is right here. I've already done this, and so I am uh, saving some of the steps here. But I clicked OK, it made this folder. And then at that point, what you have to do, you just have to remember where you put it. 
and the reason I put it off of my C drive instead of this long path is because of the next step that I'm going to take you to. Once you finish extracting it, hopefully to your C drive, you want to go back and what I do is I hit the Windows logo plus the X. And that brings up a couple of options here and one of them is Command Prompt. I'm an admin on my computer and so I can do either Command Prompt or Command Prompt Admin and it's going to work for me. If you're not an admin you may have issues uh, before getting any further. So make sure that you're an admin and then you can go to the Command Prompt and it will take you there to right here and it normally defaults into the system 32 at least it has been for me now you're probably wondering what in the world is this this is DOS from back in the old days and I just happened to have worked in DOS so it wasn't quite as difficult what you want to do is you need to get back from here back over to the C drive the way you do that is you do CD, which is change directory, and then backslash, <coughs> enter. That will move you back <coughs> to the C drive. Then what you have to do is you want to do a uh, change of directory to go to a folder called Sentinel LDK Runtime CMD line and that is going to look like this. You're going to do CD for change directory backslash Sentinel and watch this closely underscore L D K underscore run time underscore underscore CMD underscore L-I-N-E. Whoops, it couldn't find it. Let's try that again. Let's maybe put it in caps the way it should be. Now I'm having fun with it. Run time. CD. Now I forgot what I was doing here. <laughs> Sentinel underscore LDK underscore runtime underscore CMD LINE. <coughs> and why is it not there? <laughs> You can see the directory is right here. I know why. I was not putting in the dash. Okay, let's do this again. CD backslash Sentinel Sentinel underscore LDK underscore run dash time underscore CMD underscore LINE. There we go. It's important that you put the correct path in as you just saw. I did a DIR for directory and I saw that I was missing the dash time. I had forgotten about that. So this command here cd backslash sentinel underscore ldk underscore run dash time underscore cmd underscore line will get you to that directory. Once you get to that directory right here you will type in this command H A S P D I N S T space dash remove and then you press enter. What's going to happen is the DOS window is going to do some things. It may prompt you uh, for something, it may ask you to continue. I have already done this, so I will not take it any further at this point. 
but you may get prompted once or twice and then when it is done you will be back at this window you can either exit out up here or I just type in the word exit and it takes me out then at that point you go back to your windows back to your store and you continue and um, resume the download of the Windows 8.1 installer. So quickly, if we want to review, we're going to go to this website, sentinelcustomer.safenet-inc.com forward slash sentinel downloads and you should find the sentinel hasp uh, forward slash ldk command line runtime installer you will click on that and you will download it because it will take you to this screen you click accept and then it will start the download after it downloads you will find it in the directory where you downloaded it hopefully it's in your download directory but remember where it is going when it is downloading. If you forget, let's just do this real quick. I accept. Once I accept, <coughs> it starts the download. And I can pause it here because, like I said, I've already done it. But if you want to make sure where it's at, you can click on Show All Downloads. And it should show you where downloads are and you could have perhaps maybe different directories but chances are the sentinel zip file is going to be there once it is downloaded you can find it like this one here which is com a complete download I like to show it in the folder and here it is double click on it then I click on here and I click extract all I extract it where I want to put it. Now let's just say for fun, I just hit extract right here. If you don't remember this path, it could be rather difficult because it will be a difficult way to find this file in DOS. But let's assume that you put it there. So I'm going to extract it and let it extract there remember my path here it is and now I'm gonna to have to see if I can find it through DOS this way change directory backslash CD users backslash Breck backslash downloads backslash sentinel underscore ldk underscore run dash time underscore cmd underscore line and let's see if uh, maybe it takes me there let me put an s back over here it should be users and it took me there that's a long way to do it and if you know what you're doing you can get it there but if not it can be difficult but once you get to this directory wherever it is in DOS your command is HASP DINST space dash remove click enter and it will go through the process of uninstalling the Sentinel runtime drivers. So I hope that helps. It can be rather difficult if you don't do it the right way. And uh, hopefully you won't have any problems and hopefully it will work correctly for you. With that, I will close this video.